Hello and welcome back to Deus Machina Demon Bane. Demon Bane is blasted away, tears of silver blood pouring from the shattered armor of its face. Ah! Another impact comes immediately after. Moving behind Demon Bane in the blink of an eye, Liber Legis has slammed its fist into our back. Liber Legis then grabs Demon Bane, turns it around, and thrusts its knee straight into our cockpit. Ah! Ah! Its left hand slashes down, pulverizing Demon Bane's right shoulder. Next comes a right elbow. It explodes against Demon Bane's chest, sending us flying again. Without a moment's pause, Master Therian summons seven golden swords and flings them at us. I pierce Demon Bane's body and explode. I feel my consciousness slipping away. Ah! Ah! All I can see is a white darkness, and my ears hear nothing. I don't even feel pain. Man, we're fucked now. The bow of Sirius. All I can feel is his presence. A storm of malice focused on our destruction. Alarm bells ring disparately into the depths of my soul. But the warning is too far away to reach my body and mind. Here on the brink of death. Will it all end here? I feel despair. I feel resignation. But... But even so... Demon Bane's right arm moves. Though I thought it was powerless, I make no conscious effort to move it. But there's something other than my will, something that comes from far away, from deep within, that moves Demon Bane for me. Ah! 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 But its resistance is futile. No matter what emotion, what will it possess? It is nothing before Liber Legis's terrible power. There is no meaning. There is only injustice. The wave of utter, merciless destruction is unleashed. We can't escape it. We can't withstand it. Yet something burns within my chest, casting away the despair. Why? Why? Without knowing the answer, the world comes to an... The world does not end. Something interposes itself between me and the destruction. And it is so terribly frail at the brink of collapse. And yet it is stronger than anything. It's an unbreakable heart, an unshakable will, and it alone is the shield that protects Demon Bane. First, my sight returns, when I see the glow of a barrier holding back the fangs of the Black Dragon. Next, my hearing returns, and what I hear is a mighty cry, the sacred oath of one whose life is sworn to protect what is more important to her than anything else. No! I won't let you! Al! You worthless fiends! I won't let you kill my master! My beloved Deus Yukuru! A flame burning in my chest. Ah! Surges forth as unlimited power. Ah! My cry melds with Al's as our souls and power join together. And our barrier flares with intense light, swallowing up the fires of oblivion that pour from the black dragon's jaws. Your... An explosion fills the sky, its brilliance drowning out the red of the sun, and we throw ourselves into the white darkness. Shantak! Full power! Far surpassing the speed of sound, we streak through the light towards Liber Legis. You think you can catch me off guard? Gravity shells are unleashed from Liber Legis' hand, and they warp the light as they attack Demon Bane. It's impossible to dodge with this timing, at least according to the laws of physics that is. Demon Bane's maneuverability, however, far surpasses such mundane concepts. What? Completely ignoring our inertia, Demon Bane cuts right angles as it bleh. Demon Bane cuts right angles as it dodges past the gravity shells. We dance around Liber Legis, carving absurd patterns through the space surrounding our foe. Of course, the pressure of the G's is nothing to laugh at. Under normal circumstances, we'd have been indistinguishable from jam on butter by now. However, our unshakable determination gives our bodies the strength needed to break the laws of the universe. Master, be careful, we should evade! Too late. Demon Bane slams into Liber Legis' head like a bolt of lightning. Ah! I see pieces of Liber Legis go whirling off into space, and Demon Bane comes to a sudden stop, freed from its insane acceleration. Ah! Ah! It takes all my strength just to breathe, and Al's breathing is just as laboured as mine. Kuru! Ah, look out, Al! He's not done yet! Just as I cry out, a giant cross slams into Demon Bane with tremendous force. Our left arm and right leg go flying off into the darkness. Ah! Ah! Lieber Legis has lost the lower body of its left arm, 
yet it was able to swing that cross with just its right. I hear Master Therian's mad laughter echoing in my head. <laughs> oh good, very good, dear Zhukuru. This is why, this is why I chose you. <laughs> the Evil just swings its cross in wild sweeping arcs. And each strike takes another chunk off Demon Bane and brings blood pouring from my mouth. Yet our hearts are calm and clear as we ask ourselves. Why? Why? Oh, I've heard so much. We have no magic left. So why? Why? The bow of Sirius! Kuru. Al. Why are we filled with such power? I instinctively summon Cthulhu and Athakwa loaded with godbeast shells. And then something other happens. The two guns expand and join together, melting to become one enormous cannon. I aim its barrel straight at the dragon that's moments away from unleashing an arrow of destruction. Endless power fills the cannon. Unable to withstand the stress of such energy, the weapon form for Cthulhu and Athakwa begins to crack. The dragon roars. <laughs> Just as the arrow is unleashed, Demon Bane pulls the trigger. An energy erupts from our cannon, blasting the weapon into tiny fragments as it surges towards Liber Legis and the Black Dragon. The two forces collide in an explosion of power that swallows the entire fleet of comets. Swept up in the tidal wave of magic, we can clearly see the Black Dragon disintegrate under the might of our attack. Another dimensional shift. Once again ejected into space, I quickly take stock of our situation. Where and where did we end at this time? Kuru, look! Ah. When I see it filling my sight, I'm struck speechless. Its pure, fathomless beauty overwhelms me. And then I realize the true nature of the power that fills us. Our souls burn with infinite heat, yet are infinitely clear and calm. I've got to admit, I find myself tearing up a little at the sudden upwelling of emotion. Ow, oh, we... Yes, I know, Kuru. My stupidity never ceases to amaze me. How could I be so conceited? Did I think I was some kind of hero? I should know by now that's not who I am. We weren't protecting anything. This planet was protecting us all along. I admit it. I'm struck with awe by the beauty of Demon Bane, glittering with the earth at its back. I am the embodiment of fear itself. Yet I cannot understand the terror that fills me. This hunter has pursued me through a thousand, million, maybe a billion eons. It is the holy blade forged for the sole purpose of smiting evil. Once trapped in a prison of endless despair, it has long last broken free to stand at this final moment. No, I won't accept it! Indeed, it is not free. Even this moment is but part of the plan. To bring the universe to this moment, it is for this purpose alone that I have been born, and for this purpose alone that dear Zhukuru has taken up his sword. Indeed, a thousand million billion times. All things are but slaves to fate. All things are but sacrifices upon her altar. Your nobility, your beauty, everything, everything. <laughs> oh, I hate you. I hate you. Even so, I hate you. I hate you with every fibre of my being. Not seeing the chains of despair that bind you, not feeling them dragging you to the abyss, you remain ever the pure hero. And I hate you for it. I will never forgive you. I will never wallow in corruption and decay. You shine with such beauty. Hate, 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 hate. I hate you, dear Shukuro and Alazif. <laughs> oh, how I hate you! <laughs> With only my hate driving me, I will strike Demon Bane down, for my hate alone is the proof of my existence. Even as her soul is dark and clear like a late at night, Athelda is racked with unbearable grief. Faded, faced with the truth once again, the wound that has been hiding in her subconscious has been torn asunder, and the pain of it is driving her mad. Again, they've taken Master from me again. In all the world, only dear Zhukuro and Alazif can my Master unleash his hate. They mean so much to him that he can lose sight of himself. That's one really annoying thing this game does. When it switches narrator, it doesn't tell you it's done it. So it takes me like, you know, it takes me a little while to adjust to get the right voice. 
not I. With each cycle I'm reminded of this once again. At this moment there is no longer any place for me in Master's heart. At the end, I am all alone in this universe of despair. I hate you! Nothing matters now. Not even fate. All I know is that I hate them and I will never forgive them. The despair that my master and I have born. If I can carve even a billionth of it into you ignorant fools, that will be enough. I will laugh as you are crushed under its weight. With only my envy driving me, I will shatter Demon Bane. For my envy alone is all that is left to me. Dear you, Kuru. Come, Master Therian. Liba Legis streaks towards us, blazing white like a meteor of death cut through the heavens. And we're not just going to sit here and wait for him, of course. Energy erupts from Shantex. We unleash its full power, sending us hurtling through space to meet our foe. Two stars, blue and red, collide in an explosion of warring power. A raging inferno wraps itself around the two Deus Machina, enclosing us in a spherical magic field. Inside the arena that has been formed out of space itself, Demon Bane and Liber Legis attacks with reckless abandon, driven only by the energies rising from deep within our souls. Sha! Ah! Demon Bane's right fist smashes into Liber Legis's right knife hand. With a thunderous explosion, both machines' fingers are bent in sickening directions. Atlantis strike! Al jumps in while I'm still recovering and delivers a kick with perfect timing. This block by Liber Legis's regenerated left hand. What? You haven't lived 2,000 years, girl. Don't underestimate me. The Tonic Manuscripts. Liba Legis bears down, trying to crush Demon Bane's leg. And at that moment, I unleash the Atlantis Strike, the Atlantis Strike energy. The resulting explosion blasts Liba Legis' hand to shreds. Ah! You're mine! Now we have the advantage. And using the power of the complete Alazif, we quickly regenerate Demon Bane's left fist. Liba Legis' torso is wide open, so I drive our new fist straight into its cockpit. Ugh! There's more where that came from. I pull Demon Bane's right arm back for a second punch. But then a familiar chill shoots up my spine, and I lean back just in time, and Liba Legis' right kick grazes Demon Bane's face. Oh shit, they've regenerated their lower body. Too soft! Ugh! Something smashes into Demon Bane's left shoulder, sparks flying from the shattered adamantine armor. The attack continues as Liba Legis' high kick turns into a crushing axe kick. Ah! Flame erupts from Demon Bane's shoulder as it takes the second blow. Here comes another. Instead of lowering its leg, Liba Legis cocks it in front of its torso. In the next instant... Ah! Liba Legis plants a pulverizing front kick into Demon Bane's chest, sending us flying backwards in a cloud of silver blood. Three-hit combo! <laughs> Kuru, there's more! Flames of ice race up my spine as golden light screams towards us through the darkness. The shiny cross. Become dust, Demon Bane! The sinner's cross plows through space like a hammer of judgment, blazing with cold, cruel light as it falls upon Demon Bane. It's too fast to dodge, but who said anything about dodging? Demon Bane's right hand howls, bursting with light. Lumeria impact! Demon Bane meets the cross with its right hand. Both weapons charge with the energy of ultimate annihilation. Fire and lightning explode from our right arm as the impact bends it out of shape. But before the destruction reaches the rest of Demon Bane's body. Sublimate! The infinite heat is unleashed upon the Sinner's Cross, raping it with a law of obliteration. Nothing exists that can escape this destruction, and the cross is utterly annihilated, wiped from the universe itself. What? Liba Legis immediately abandons the cross and escapes the destruction field, putting a distance between itself and Demon Bane. Child's play! Liba Legis's arm opens, revealing the mouth of a cannon surrounded by glowing symbols. Eleven spheres of darkness are spewing from the cannon, warping the starlight as they come upon us. Gravity shells! If we're caught, we'll be torn to pieces! Damn! Squeezing every last ounce of manoeuvring power out of Shantak, we dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge. We expand the barrier, the shining pentagram of the Elder Sign annihilating most of the reigning spheres before dissipating. Right, I'm going to have to leave this part here, but thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next.